Okay, so here are a couple other trick problems that we can do. And again, the um, problem will say to state the answer exactly so we don't run around a decimal. So again, you're going to use your unit circle. So if this is my unit circle, then pi over 4 is right here at a 45 degree angle. So again, you should know that that's square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Um, remember, the cosine is the x, it's alphabetical, the sine is the y. So for the sine, we're going to get the square root of 2 over 2. For the cosine, we're going to get this one, the square root of 2 over 2. Um, we can add those together. Um, we're going to get uh, 2 square root of 2, which again, the 2s, you can see right here, these 2s will cancel. Right? And so then I'm just going to be left with the square root of 2. So my answer for that problem is the square root of 2. So I'll put it right down there. All right, let's look at this next one. Okay, this one on our unit circle, we need actually 45 for both. So here's my unit circle. I'm not a very good one. There's my 45. Again, I'm in the first quadrant, so everything is positive. Square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2. Um, this is your cosine. This is your sine. All right, and so my sine is the square root of 2 over 2. So that goes there. Now, tangent is not on the unit circle, but you know that the definition of tangent is sine divided by cosine. I highlight that too. All right, and so because you know that, you can take the sine, which is square root of 2 over 2, divide by square root of 2, which is 1, when the numbers divide by itself. All right, so then my final answer is just the square root of 2 over 2. All right, that's it for this one.